Would you please welcome from the Media Design School, Ali Crowley, and would you welcome his son, Nikhal, who's also come from uh, New Zealand tonight to join us. Ali, I, I've got a lot of, I have a lot of favourite people in this organisation, but you are very close to the top of the list, my friend, yeah. um, <laughs> for a whole range of reasons, which I won't go into, but you also worked on the classic New Zealand program, Bro Town, which I used to watch on SBS, uh, if you've ever seen Bro Town. <laughs> And we are so wrapped when our staff members are thriving in their creative practice as well. So thank you for that film. It's just gorgeous. Tell me about Meet Munch Jr. What was the background to this? Well, first of all, Talofa, everyone. Talofa. Hello. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thanks for having us here first, firstly. Um, yeah, really stoked to be here. Really proud to represent MDS. Um, uh, so the film came about because um, I had an opportunity to uh, uh, use the platform called Loading Docs, as you saw in the beginning, um, opening. Um, yeah, so I had an opportunity Watch to... Watch the Loading Docs. Yeah, the little plug there. Um, so, um, <laughs> to, um, yeah, so, and then uh, also I wanted to get into directing and I had done some uh, short writing before that. And so, um, yeah, I was looking at wanting to make a film or something, but then this opportunity to make a documentary came up and I had always wanted to make a film with my uncle, but when I presented it, they said, well, let's try something that's closer to you, that's easy, and it's, well, convenient, really. And they said, um, and I, had, my son had been wanting to, to make a puppet, so we actually had been making a puppet when the idea came about, so when we, um, when all these jigsaw pieces came together, um, I kind of tried to. They pitched it to me to say, "Let's make it about your son," because um, I pitched, pitched it to me, and I had to pitch it to him. <laughs> and he didn't like that. So, let, let, let me ask you, Nicole, about that. How did how did Dad convince you to, to be involved in this? Uh, well, especially kind of pressured by this. Hurry up! So come on, make a documentary. Okay. Oh, yeah, to be all excited. And, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. And you have to be excited. <laughs> okay, I'm excited now. Yes. Uh, who was tougher to work on, work with on set? Yeah. Dad, did you, did you feel, was it you or was it Nika? It was me. <laughs> yeah, well, like I said, he was always, he didn't want to do it. And um, so I was kind of, I felt really guilty at first. So he's my first one son. And then I, um, I felt more guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah, I just felt I was quite a protective when they asked me to pitch it. So when I pitched it, I actually wanted to withdraw the pitch because it's like taking your, you know, it's your first born kid to the world and you're giving it your kid up to the world. But then you just, you know, revert to dad mode and you don't want to. <laughs> you just want to protect them. It's good. Yeah. But it, it feels like this is a, like just that, that seven minutes or eight minutes that was like a PhD in itself in terms of depth and, and quality and so beautifully crafted and, and, and so relevant because it's about parenting, it's about family, it's about creativity, it's about education. So, I mean, for both of you, when you're watching it now and you're hearing an audience laugh and, and appreciate, maybe Nikhil, for you first, what was it like watching it then with, a, with an audience here? And, and how do you feel? Do you feel proud? Do you, what do you feel when you watch this film? Stressed. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was having anxiety attack the yeah. was on. And, uh, but it was really great to hear your response yeah. to the film. Yeah, I, I mean, I appreciate it on the inside, but on the outside, I'm just like, oh, there's people watching me from one year ago when I had short hair. <laughs> I want to say, um, as a dad, you are a dad. You're, a dad right? you're, you're an artist, you are a creative, and you are also an exceptional teacher. Um, how does each part of this inform your practice? 
Yeah, so I was thinking about this. I was actually um, about tonight, and I was thinking, oh, in terms of what we stand for. Um, yeah, I think when you, right, I'm just going to drop because we start with people and end with people. I think it's really, really important to, that that's all what it comes from. It's, um, you know, first of all, we're human beings, so um, you know we have this instinctual, you know, desire to, you know, look after our own. Um, so yeah, it was just. When I teach, it's like like he's seventeen. He's like prime Hello. target for um, you know enrollment. So <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm not he's to school, but um, yeah, but he's at the beginning. He's just turned seventeen in December. Anyway, um, mm. from from bringing up so, so understanding my kid as a seventeen year old and going to school to teach seventeen year olds upward, it's given me so much insight in how to um, actually think of them, you know, as someone's kid first. Um, and then the other flip side of the coin is that you know they're going to become these great leaders and great innovators. So, um, and a, a, what do you call it? A proof of concept for this guy is that Man. doing the film, read up, read up, read up. Um, <laughs> for this guy, that he wanted to do this, and we kind of talk about him there that um, because he's got the spark. And so, backstory is that Nico found it hard to get along with a lot of people. We took him to a, like Still a learn. <laughs> yeah. People just don't understand them, but um, and then we went to this kind of board. Yeah, they don't understand themselves. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> he's comfortable with himself, so that's great. But yeah, so you, he couldn't fit into this box, and so we let him be himself, and that's how he actually started to use that as his voice. So yeah, sorry, I don't know if I'm answering the question. <laughs> like what's going on? But yeah, Nicole, do we have much here tonight? <laughs> I, I bought him in a sack. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk to me. Why is turn around yeah. and ah, it's like magic, magic, magic. Yeah, no, I don't do. Would you like to you? meet Munch Jr.? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is the segue. <laughs> One of the most elaborate theatrical entrances I've ever seen in some time. All right, would you please give a massive round of applause in his debut at the Adelaide <laughs> Festival <laughs> Centre. <laughs> A slow round of applause to begin with. <laughs> yeah, don't forget, he's, he's on the altars of the <laughs> Five. Would you please welcome, in a venue which has featured Robin Archer, Much Junior, what has been your impression of Adelaide so far? Uh, uh, mostly bad Australian impressions. <laughs> uh, sorry, we want to leave the country in one piece. And, 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 and Munch, I, I understand that you popped into the Adelaide Oval today to the One Torrent Summit. Uh, what, what did you make of the summit? Can you simplify the question? <laughs> What did you think of the, of the event at the Adelaide Oval today? He, he was sleeping in the hotel. <laughs> yeah, sorry. We took off an act too. Uh, much. But yeah, we thought that um, it's really good, inspirational of people. <laughs> <laughs> we enjoyed it. Much. Maybe maybe one one more question for you right now, and this this is the the big question. What do you eat for breakfast? <laughs> and, okay, um, cereal without milk. Cereal. <laughs> <laughs> please give uh, Munch Jr. a massive round of applause. I think Munch Jr. is beautiful. And would you please uh, give it up for Ali Crowley? Nicole and Munch Jr. Oh, yeah. so, uh,